You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. I want to get your reaction to mm -hmm. Gina Carano. Sure. I don't know. Maybe you saw some of her speech, but she, uh, she that, was, that she did at the uh, at the political thing. Correct. I, I saw her. I saw her Instagram posts on it, but I haven't watched the full speech. So let's see it. A lot of celebrities say, "I'm leaving the country if Donald Trump is elected. I will not be leaving the country if someone I don't like is installed in power. I plan on staying here and fighting it out. That's what patriots do." That's what the people who truly love Americans do. And those celebrities who threaten to leave will leave anyway once they've installed a government that seeks to destroy us. 70 years ago, my, both of my grandfathers made their path and built incredible companies, starting from the ground up. One right here in Las Vegas and one in Reno, Nevada. I have two of the best examples of what a truly great leader is. And, it is, and how important it is. My Papa Jack was quoted saying, lead men by going the extra mile, by going the extra mile yourself. I'm an actress who got my start professional fighting right here in your mixed martial arts gyms in Las Vegas. Thank you. I'd rather be being punched in the face than giving, giving a speech right now. <laughs> But I'm doing this for America. I'm doing this because this election is so important. It's so valuable. I didn't actually start voting until I was 20, uh, until 2020. And I realized that, my gosh, there is such a prejudice here. I was voting for who I thought was the best candidate. And that was Donald Trump. And that still is Donald Trump. I was targeted, discriminated against, shamed and fired from one of the most powerful entertainment companies in the world. They fired me at the height of my career. Mm. And I went out to, I know, Disney. <laughs> they deserve that. <laughs> they deserve that. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have been paying attention to my story. I appreciate that. <laughs> mm. um, I mean, they've gone out of the way to make an example out of me, but I think by the grace of God, he's helping me make an example out of them. That's it. Cameron. So, it's, a, it's a great speech. You know why it's a great speech? Because it's heartfelt. It's not something written by a speechwriter. It's something she clearly scribbled on a napkin from the heart, right? And she's, and she's speaking to me. You can hear her voice trembling. This isn't someone who's doing this to be a professional politician, right? This is somebody who is, who, like she said, she's not comfortable with this kind of thing, getting up and giving political speeches. And then you can see that the, her body language, that's true. She is a performer, she's an entertainer, and you know, and she's a leader, but she's a different kind of leader than a politician. And so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad she said that. Uh, I, I will say, and you know, what's gonna happen is gonna happen. I will say that this speech will be used as fuel by her enemies to keep fighting to keep her out of Star Wars and to keep pressuring Iger to not settle with her and give her what she's asked for in the suit back. The lawsuit she's asked for her job back, right? Which is, I certainly know John Favreau wants to give her a job back. He doesn't have a problem with it. He likes her. He both created the character for her, Cara Dune. This mm -hmm. will be used against her. Um, but, and you know, she's already <laughs> fighting a battle, so. This is like, this will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that was look, I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the next two weeks with uh, oh, yeah. or months thereafter with politicians. Uh, if Mr. Trump is back in power, uh, the industry is going to be attacking him. Uh, you know, um, it actually, I don't know. I mean, if he's back in power, people like Iger may feel pressure to not let Gina come back because mm -hmm. that, you know, Hitler is in charge right now. Now we've got, you know, Hitler's woman there. I mean, it's crazy stuff, right? It's crazy. It's crazy um, narratives. Like I got my issues with Trump. I'm happy to discuss my, I got lots of issues with Kamala Harris and Biden, but I got, I can give specific policy. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. That was a mistake. You made a mistake last time we did that. I hope you don't do that again. I mean, but I don't go into personality stuff. I just like, I don't like this policy. I don't like that policy. Right. But Hollywood doesn't do that. Hollywood's all about images. And now this image is going to be used against you. So that's 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 when I saw that I'm like, okay, how 
should she have said anything? Because she's like in the middle of this thing, and you know, I guess well, she she's going to be herself. She's not. She's she's going to be herself. Um, it's just a sword that's going to be another sword against her. She's confident that that the that she's got the leverage because she knows if this ever to go to trial, she probably win. So far, she's won every step of the legal case. She's won every single step, right? So I think she's very confident in that. And she's not she's not a politician, so she's not. She's I think this is naturally Gina. Gina is going to be herself. She gets hired back in Star Wars. She's going to say what she believes. And that's what I think uh, those who love her, like myself, admire about her, right? Th this is who she is, and you're going to get this. And um, and hopefully she gets her job back, and she can just be this person. And you don't like her politics, you don't like her politics. Life goes on. This is a, I think this was very heartfelt. Whether I agree politically or not, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you could tell she was nervous. Yeah. You know, you could... <laughs> you know, and you know she had her she had her little speech. Yeah. Uh, you know I think you can see why she endeared herself to fans and why mm -hmm. her character along with Gorgu were the most popular characters created by Disney Star Wars. Sure. That's just it. That's the truth. Well, she's authentic. She's a real person. She's a real human being. She mm -hmm. she represents the kind of person that'll that that you know it's just middle america normal person i mean she's look she's not middle america she's from a wealthy family god bless her family like you said her grandparents work very hard to create yeah. the business empire that they have right they're not they're not poor people and i wish them more success but you know but she's the kind of person like i said you'd meet her at the you know she's like somebody at the gym you're chatting with like a nice decent human being right yep. you know that that's what she exudes